What's going on, Ophicus? How are you guys? Hope and pray you're well. Welcome to Ophicus and me. Appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today. See what's going on. It is the 18th of September, 2024, and it's 5, 4, 3 a.m. That's what's up. So I appreciate every single last one of you for all your love and support. Thank you so very much for stopping by here today. If this is your first time, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do three decks of tarot. I did a video also a couple hours ago, and it's still uploading, and um, I was having trouble with it um, uploading. And uh, basically, I got it to upload, but... All the images are backwards. It wouldn't take um, the the way I try to, you know, edit it or whatever. So I'm going to try to <laughs> upload it again with the same, um, basically, mechanisms that I used to get it to finally upload. But I'm going to try to switch it around. So if you happen to see that video, um, yeah. That's that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do another video. It aggravated me so badly. But however the case, let's get to it. Um, yeah. Let's see what we get. That's a lot. But this was the first one, but they all flew out, so I'm going to keep all three of them because there's no book lit to them. So here it says reflective ripples. Be mindful of the impact of your actions and choices in your journey. That's always important, you know. All right. So be mindful of the impact of your actions and the choices because it does have a ripple effect because it's energy. Okay. And the first one we have here is translucent. Tre thread work it says gain clarity and self-awareness understanding your true essence okay all of whatever it is that you have to say how you feel all of that is a ripple effect okay and gaining that sheer confidence and clarity of who you are and then we have here serene sampler it's pretty. It says, find inner calm and serenity amidst life's chaos. That, that card's for me right now because I'm telling you, I tried to upload that video like 17 times. Like I kept getting messages from YouTube, occurring, same occurring issue, this, that. I'm looking up ways to get it uploaded what can i do i mean oh my god i deleted so many pictures videos oh my gosh anyway find intercom <laughs> no know how to find it and okay, achieve it Here, enlightened embroidery. It says, seek knowledge and understanding on the path to enlightenment. Okay. So never be afraid to ask, you know, for, um, like, um, 
never be afraid to ask for like um help or guidance or something along the line and maybe not even that don't be afraid to seek okay um knowledge and things like that all right because as you are taking complete awareness of who you are and how you are coming across um with every motion and step that you take yes realize that it is a ripple effect okay you're um, putting a footnote or something of that nature right <clears throat> in the pattern of this whole uh, existence you know so here we have it yeah, the translucent thread work like you don't see it weaving its way you know in with all of the other threads but it is so here we go here I, I always do that I always do that let me get a couple of index cards when I'm at this table, I always do that because that's like my go-to deck um, to start me off when I'm at this table. A child care provider you could be or would like to uh, start your own business you are a very considerate person Whatever is on your mind right now. <laughs> okay. I got a lot from that first stack. So the next two stacks, I'm just going to take uh, whatever comes out. I'm only going to use half of the deck for each one, though. You like the cold winter weather. You live on a farm or you would like to live on a farm.
And you have been here before. <laughs> All right, here we have it. Don't hesitate, act now. You have a secret crush. Uh, it could be a pediatrician or you're a pediatrician or you would like to go back to school to become a pediatrician. It says here, Isaiah 50 and 10, who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light, let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Yahuwah, YHWH is so very awesome. All praises to his name every day. So here we have it. Don't, oh, do not act like you don't know. You have the keys to the city. You haven't heard from them in over a week. Hope they're okay. He likes white chocolate women. Not playing no games. Lover's energy. Someone has to make a decision. Unbelievable. Mm, new zest for life. You could be a cashier. It's a divine connection. Electrifying energy. God sent you an angel. Wine tasting. You could be a flight attendant. You have a package on the way. Be open to love. You got older and stopped doing something you enjoyed. What was it? Hear me out, please. You have the right solution. Life is good, isn't it? Just the two of us, we can make it if we try, just the two of us. Bill Withers, and then Will Smith, and on the next level, it's a trap. Beware, because you're happily married. <laughs> Keep pushing through, okay? You speak many languages. Your name could start with the letter U. And enraged. Mm. All right. Now let's get these three and see what we get. Don't hesitate. Act now. Don't act like you don't know. Have a new zest for life. Be open to love. Making a decision. You're on the right. You have the right solution. Someone wants you to hear them out, please. Not playing any games. Lover's energy. Happily married. Keep pushing through. Life is good. I sent you an angel. And uh, somebody's enraged about something. Wow, rebirth at the bottom, transformation, seeing things differently, knowing that you have the control to withstand anything, withhold yourself from being in perfect harmony here. And balance and peace falling right underneath the Isaiah 50 and 10 verse. Wow, okay, and the outsider. The outsider being a little different as you are going through these transformations and these ascensions and maybe gaining more um, spiritual 
awareness or gaining uh, a relationship with God or something of that nature. Um, maybe feeling like an outsider because there are not too many people that um, go that way, you know. Yeah, maybe you're comparing yourself or looking at the way you used to view life. Okay. Thank you for being patient. Here's the first deck. Let's see what we get. Okay, the Hierophant. So, yeah, it's like you've been gaining knowledge and wisdom, listening or reading or something in terms of your spirituality um, and finding so much peace and serene in that arena or field. With the control, here you have the Ten of Wands, all the different things that were on your shoulders that you were taking care of. Um, but knowing that you are the one that's in control of everything that you partake in, even if it involves responsibilities, um, you are the one that is in control. Um, you know, to a certain extent, you know. So here with the star underneath harmony, it's like you are that star. You shine, you're shining. And um, it's important for you to shine, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, the outsider. You may have people that are starting to, um, like, feed into you and your energy, or you're finding people that want to encourage you, or, uh, I don't know, work with you, give you materials, or something like that. So here you have... The Hierophant that's falling underneath. <sighs> I'm going to do this different. Okay. I'm going to do it like I do it on my collective reads on my other channel. Okay, so. The Hierophant. So, you know that you don't have to do everything on your own, even though you know you're in control. The most high power is in control, ultimately. That's why I said it like that, you know. To a certain extent, you have control. Um, and if you follow directions, you know, and kind of lean on him and the things that you're learning and so on and so forth you won't have so much burden or you'll you know fall off a little bit or something of that nature here with the emperor next um it's a leader 
with harmony, you, like I said, you're that star. People need you to be that beacon of light, even though you may feel like an outsider. That's okay. Uh, here we have it, the King of Pentacles. I fell in the struggle, so I'm going to put it in reverse here. And so some of your struggles may come, or your burdens may come because maybe your money isn't quite where you would like it to be at this time, or something of that nature. And here with the Knight of Cups. It's a woman holding a heart. Um... You could be very protective of your heart, you know, um, not wanting to just give your love away, um, waiting on the right person or the, the right time or something like that. And then you have here the Queen of Cups. That's who you are. You love hard. You're beautiful. You have a an intuition that speaks volumes. You could have water in your chart somewhere also with the five of swords. Five of Swords talks about defeat, anxiety, worry, and things like that. So you could have always worried about if there would be someone. Um, that would care for your heart the way that you are caring for it with the temperance in reverse. The temperance in reverse is just you really being out of sync a little bit. Kind of thrown off by some things. And then here, the Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse, too. And then here, are the lovers. Which came out here, the lover's energy. So, having to make a choice. I don't know. Who's who? Who's coming along? Uh, where you're going to have to make the choice. Okay. It says it's a, it's a trap. Beware. It also says happily married. And a secret crush. And then here you have the king of wands. And wands are usually known to be like the player-like type, um, only thinking in that realm. Um, or that could represent you, you know, as the fire sign, you know, as being connected to Sag. Um, you know, just full of life and um, very attractive and kind of just... Feeling that passion. Okay. Maybe having a secret crush. But your money isn't where it, where it should be or where you'd like it to be. I don't know if there's this person. Maybe you feel out of whack or balance because of that. And then there's this other individual that... They're maybe trying to get themselves together also. Mm. 
but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but here's the second deck. I appreciate you guys for being here with me so very much. If you're still here with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys, appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you, and of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. So, yeah. Or maybe like you if you found this person or and like in this realm of learning about your spirituality or maybe that's where you that's where you met them or something like that. Um, and maybe, uh, I know as I said here, Emperor, like, you know, like you're this leader. Um, so either or you could be a leader or this person is like... A, a leader for you in a sense maybe but their money isn't you know like they don't make a lot of money or something like that or they don't care about money or something i don't know Am I in reverse? Oh yeah, I am. But it was a chariot in reverse. So things could, you know, just... It's no need to rush, you know? Not when you're getting to know someone. Or maybe it's just saying that this has nothing to do with money, you know? This is all about spirituality. So here you have the Three of Swords, which talks about heartache and pain and a breakup wow well, okay so it comes back out so the the heartache and the pain could just be from life itself With the moon coming out next, talking about uh, things that are hidden. It says secret crush. Okay, maybe you're heartbroken because and unbalanced because you you're crushing on this person or something like that. God sent you an angel, so maybe this person was like a God sent individual to help you see things differently during your time of burden, maybe. As you're transforming and seeing that there's more to life or a different way of seeing or viewing or something. Yeah, with the two of wands, like really looking at life in in its whole, in a whole or in its entirety, and um, the different paths that you could take with night 
of cups in reverse now. We have the Knight of Cups. We're holding the heart. So here with the moon and now it being a reverse. I, I, I think it does have something to do with the crush. Like you're holding on to your heart. Like it's a, it's a, a secret. You don't want anyone to know that you are like wishing that somebody would approach you, but at the same time, maybe you don't want anybody to or this person because maybe you don't want to mess up like the relationship or you know uh, like the status of it or something of that nature so here with the two of swords so you have to make some sort of decision, I guess, maybe in terms of how you feel or how you're going to move forward, okay? Five, six, seven, sort of, though, that's talking about being sneaky and deceptive, um, not telling the whole truth about something. Or maybe you, it says don't hesitate, act now, you know, maybe... All of this hidden crush energy, like you don't want to maybe, you, you don't want to lie about it or something like that. Dang, with the death, the transformations and things that are happening, the rebirths, constant change is on the boards, like all my readings. Okay, so yeah, maybe it's unbelievable how you feel your feeling about this person she, she said you must be my lucky star shine on me wherever you are it sounds like madonna maybe it's not madonna maybe it's um cindy lopper or something like that i don't know starlight star bright i don't know who that is i just know it's like from the 80s <laughs> So, yeah, it says harmony, and there's two dolphins here, you know. You must be my lucky star. Like, this person came along with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe they were this outsider, you know, that didn't make a lot of money, but they were shining so bright and, like, leader, and, you know, pushed you in the right direction or something like that. Wow. Yeah, that definitely is on the next level, isn't it? All these translucent pieces of thread making their way. So, yeah, love is energy. You making a decision, maybe. Or if you're going to stay by yourself and hold on to your heart forever. Or are you going to um, tell this person how you feel? It says, don't hesitate. Act now. Not playing no games. <laughs> This is the last day. Thank you guys so very much. The Eight of Cups. Like coming out of this hiding energy, walking away from uh, hiding, walking away from, yeah, like not being true about how you feel with the two of ones that was here coming out again, like feeling free, free enough to say what you want to say. What you need to say, and 
you know, moving forward uh, with the Page of Wands, looking for some sort of new path. Now you have here death and reverse. Death is here. Rebirth was the very first card that we had. And now it's in reverse. And so it's not going to kill you, okay, to feel free and go down this path, okay, and being dishonest, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to keep it a secret, that's how you feel about a person, you know, that was the star that fell on the ground, okay, on the floor. So five of pentacles, you've been feeling left out and kind of lacking. And ten of cups is what you really want. So it, it's unbelievable. God sent you an angel, though. There's two. I only need one more. I'm going to see what they both are. Oh, wow. Justice. Things will be balanced out. After having so much pain and <sighs> just pain, things that just weren't right, just everything was toxic, bad, I don't know, but things seem to be coming along better now when this person came into your life. Wow, when the star came back out. <clears throat> yeah, so they are your star that was sent to you with the high priestess. So you have the Queen of Cups out here. So you are this person that is very intuitive. Okay, you understand what is going on around you. You pick up on energies, you understand. Okay, and um. When you have that type of capability or, uh, I'm not going to call it a skill because it's God given, um, you know, so when that, when you have that, uh, embedded in your DNA, you know, you know what you're feeling, you know what could be, you know, so, yeah, lover's energy, make a choice not to be just holding on to your heart by yourself, you know, and let this person know how much you appreciate their energy, you know, and you know, they've taught you a lot, you know, while you were seeking knowledge, this person came along, I, I'm imagining, you know, and helped you see a different way of going about life, you know, and balancing it out and so on and so forth. When you were in a moment of not feeling balanced because you had so much burden on your shoulders or something like that, trying to find peace, you know, and trying to lean more on God. And this person came along and, I don't know, changed the game. So appreciate you if you get. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.